Still on this Billboard's Hot 100, January 13th, 1968. Boy, we are talking the golden years. There are so many great songs on this Hot 100, and I'll just give you a taste of it. I've already told you about some of them already, but we got Skipper Rope by Henson Cargill at number 47. That's going to go top 40. I Wonder What She's Doing Tonight by Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart, the guys who wrote The Last Train to Clarksville. And... Uh, Let's see, Darling by the Beach Boys, one of my favorite Beach Boys records. And uh, we got Baby Now That I Found You by The Foundations. Ichiku Park by Small Faces at number 32. And at number 36, up from 48 the previous week, it debuted uh, two weeks before at number 77 on Billboard's Hot 100. A lovely record by the Rolling Stones. Very uncharacteristic by the Rolling, record by the Rolling Stones, but one of their prettiest. She's a rainbow from the album Their Satanic Majesty's Request. And uh, this was back when the Rolling Stones were in their psychedelic phase, which they renounced, later renounced, and started returning to their blues rock and roll bass, doing songs like, uh, well, Jumpin' Jack Flash, for example, which was a massive hit in 68. Uh, unfortunately, one of their prettiest records, She's a Rainbow, was not one of their biggest hits. It will eventually go to number 25. Reminds me a lot of Lady Jane. Remember Lady Jane by the Stones? Back in the summer of 66. Brilliant record by the Stones. Dandelions, another psychedelic, sort of a psychedelic record that in that same era, 1967, Rolling Stones, She's a Rainbow, arranged. The strings of this record was arranged by John Paul Jones, who later became member of Led Zeppelin. But in the 60s, he was a sessionaire, a session musician, another session musician who played the vibrant piano, the ascending piano that just sparkles like the 4th of July. It's Nicky Hopkins, that's his name. He started out playing with the legendary Screaming Lord Such in Britain, his group the Savages back in the early 60s. Not very well known here in the States at all, but Screaming Lord Such, one of Britain's flamboyant rock and rollers way back in the day. He also, Nicky Hopkins also played in Cyril Davis's R&B All-Stars before he decided to pursue a career as a session musician instead of playing in band because of his frail health. He was not in great condition as far as his health goes. Started working a lot with the Rolling Stones. He played piano parts on some of the other hits by the Rolling Stones. Sympathy for the Devil, Angie, and Waiting for a Friend. Back in, That was in 1981 that song came out. Brian Jones, one of the most underrated musicians of the 60s, played the Mellotron on this record. The lyrics are just... This, this song just kind of it epitomizes the 60s because of the rich lyrics. So many songs in the 60s just had incredible lyrics, just originality, sparkled with originality. They rose above cliches. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel, the Beatles, even songs like Red Rubber Ball by Circle, which, well, it's written by Paul Simon, and so it is with the Rolling Stones. i got to read you this second verse. It's either the second or third verse of She's a Rainbow to show you just how brilliant the absolute lyrical genius of Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. These were hard rock and rollers, but there was a there was this center of tenderness that showed through in lyrics like this, that shone through in lyrics like this. Have you seen her all in gold? Like a queen in days of old. She shoots colors all around, like a sunset going down. Have you seen a lady fairer? This is this is reaching back. This is reaching back into earlier eras, into the Romans, into the medieval eras, mixing it with psychedelia. Man, this is just, it's, it's, this genius, putting all this together. That's, that's genius. Taking all these ailments that seem to be unrelated and just throwing them together and making it work. And they made it work in this single but damned, it only got as high as number 25. But it's up to number 36, though, on the move. The week of January 13th, 1968. She's a rainbow. It's the Stones.